Hello folks, I'm OwensBack33, and welcome back to The Legend of Zelda Minish Cap, episode 16. This episode here, we're gonna start off by getting a kinstone piece, and getting hit by Nocturok. But another piece of heart, making a new heart container, so we're up to 8. Yeah, big old 8. Uh, this episode is being recorded right after the last one, so as for comment uh, discussion, that will have to wait until next time. But I I don't know. I I wanted to record another episode. I I felt like I couldn't end where I was, and why I'm cutting down bushes. That's pretty much what I did to get kinstones. Anyway, we'll talk to Syrup the Witch here. Uh, Granny's blue potion. But what we want here is this uh, wake up shroom. Yeah, mushroom, sorry. And it's only 60 rupees, so of course we'll buy. Alright. Face the sleepy snoozer and press the R button. So there we go, we got a key item that we're gonna need to wake up uh, Rem. He's the uh, shoe guy. And once we do that, we're gonna be able to open up a whole lot of other stuff. Uh, but for now, let's head back uh, to a shop. Let's just do that right now. The item we're gonna get. Although it's been said, I'm not gonna say it. Like people have said it, and by people I mean people in the game have said what it is. But I'm just gonna kind of tease you and not let you know what it is. It's gonna be very helpful, and I'm pretty much gonna be using it all the time uh, to get around from A to B because it speeds up things a lot. And look, now uh, Malin is selling uh, Lon Lon milk for 100 rupees. It's pretty expensive, but. Uh, it's, I think it works just like, uh, what game? Ocarina of Time, where you get two servings of it. Anyway, let's go back in here. Alright. Press R button. Yep, so let's do that. Thanks for telling me something I just, uh, was told like, only a few seconds ago. Yeah, I woke you up. Finish up my item. <laughs> a strange habit of making shoes in my sleep. Oh, he's just gonna give us uh, the shoes. But he has to do some final works on them. Apparently just hammering them and polishing it, that's all that was needed. I'm sure they would've worked without that. Anyway, we got the Pegasus boots. Want some shoes for Princess Zelda. Too bad she's turned to stone. I'm sure she's not going to care about new shoes right now. Anyway, we got one of the best items in the game here. The Pegasus boots. Why is it awesome? Can we go in here yet? No, I keep trying to go in here. Because it lets us run and get around really fast. Something that you would have found out had I had gone in here. Once once you get the, uh, the pot breaker one, the rock breaker, he says, come back when you can run faster than the wind. Uh, and I can run faster than the wind now, so we can learn yet another sword ability. The dash attack. Equip the Pegasus boots, equip your sword, and run. This, this is a, a, a technique that has existed since uh, Link to the Past. They use it a lot in other games, such as this one in Link to the Past. Uh, what you do <laughs> so you're going to see what happens here. Really, that's the only two games it really appears in. Although there is the Pegasus Seeds in uh, in the Oracle games, but yeah, that's all you do is you uh, have the sword and you run with the sword in front of you. Pretty much no reason to have any other item equipped when you're using the Pegasus boots. I mean, if you're going to switch to the boots, you might as well switch that while you're at it. Uh, I think Mr. Postman will probably fuse skin stones with us now, to be honest. Yeah. All right, Mr. Postman. This is another uh, unique fusion where a certain reward will happen. It's like an okay reward. Uh, basically, it like gives this guy like a thought that, hey, I I need uh, swiftly to start up a newsletter. I should get Mercy to help me. So he's gonna get, he's gonna basically hire, well not hire someone, I guess she already works there considering he knows his name, her name. Alright, let me talk to this guy. This, I thought this guy fuses. Nope, guess not. Alright, so uh, now what we're gonna do 
is uh, we can run all around Hyrule now. There's a whole bunch of stuff we can get. Remember when I was saying, hey, I'm going to go up here after I uh, go to Lon Lon Ranch? Well, that's because that's what I'm going to do. Uh, there's two things I can get here. Uh, two of these little grass huts are open, or little caves. Alright, you gotta hit these switches. Oh, there's a kinstone piece. Nice. Uh, basically, Tingle, he has three brothers. You fuse kinstones with them, and it lets you get that uh, big treasure chest in the middle there. Uh, like I said, one of my favorite items in the game, so I'm pretty pumped for that. So hit that. What does this give us? Oh, two red kinstone pieces. Is this one of the ones we need? I mean... Yeah, there we go. I finally got the one I needed. We're going to take care of more side uh, quest stuff uh, before heading on uh, to the next area. Uh, so I'm going to take care of some stuff in Minish Woods because there's like a ton of treasure chests there. And then I'm going to take care of uh, a unique side quest that... Remember what I was saying, hey, you can't skip anything? Well, apparently this is skippable. So, what we want to do is the stranger here, we want to fuse with this red kinstone right there. There we go. And what's going to happen is, uh, really, I can only think of one instance this happens, and that's this one. It opens up a strange little panel there. Alright, so, we're going to go do that right now. We're going to go over to that weird looking panel. I don't think any any others of these exist in the game besides this. Okay, postman, you're in my way. Can I not get around you? Nope. Gotta let you by. That's the thing that's kind of dumb is you run into the end of the screen and, and you hit the end of the screen. I think that's pretty stupid. We step on it and what's happening? We get teleported into a house. And it's got a kinstone piece in it, and another kinstone piece in it. And there's another guy that looks exactly like the other guy. Uh, this place we're going to be coming to super late in the game. Alright, and this guy's seen a ghost apparently. Uh, but before I help him, I'm going to get a kinstone piece. Remember the little figurine I made? Of Gregel and the ghost? Well, can you talk to him? Yeah, you can. Gregor the Great. Alright, so what you gotta do here is, uh... You, I guess you can do this as soon as you can fuse kinstones with Buddy, because all you need is the gush jar for this. And you just gotta suck in uh, the ghost here. And then Gregor the Great gets all good looking again. He's got, he's not, his face ain't blue. I don't know if he gives you anything. Odin. He gives you a hundred mysterious shells, so nothing real special. How many mysterious shells do I have now? Because you can only carry up to 999, and you want to make sure you don't get to that, because, because like I said, one of the one of the heart pieces in the game it requires you to make all the figurines in the game. So there's never a time where you don't really want, where you. You always want to be collecting mysterious shells. That's what I'm getting at. All right, there we go. Anyway, uh, maybe we have a kinstone infused with uh, our father now. I think he's your father. Anyway, the smith here. Anyway, maybe stepdad. I don't know. No, that was speak. I don't want to speak to him. Yep, I already have uh, his shoes. Thanks, though. Yeah, we got a kinstone for him. There's still tons of items we can get before even moving on. I'm glad we can get all this stuff. Alright, I know exactly what this is. This is a awesome treasure chest that we're going to get around to in the next episode. And, uh, I guess... He has more than one fusion, I believe. Maybe we can do it. You have to delete go in and out of house. Uh, in case someone has more than one uh, fusion. Yep. Ah, oh, it's just a green one, so it's probably some piece of crap one that doesn't even matter. Let's see, what do you want to do here? Oh, it's gonna open up some treasure chest or like make a monster appear or something. Treasure chest! Alright. 
Man, I can't believe we're running out of time again. Next series I do, I'm not gonna have a time limit on it. Of course, the next series I do as in not Donkey Kong Country Returns because that's has another restriction on it altogether. <laughs> but regardless, the next thing, next new thing I do. Oh, oh Eastern Hills right over here. Awesome, we can kill this snake guy. Come on, get over here. Get over here. This guy's annoying. So he drops 100 rupees. And in this treasure chest is an empty bottle. It's one of the four empty bottles of the game. You just get it by fusing with your dad. It's a pretty awesome reward. Make sure you fuse with him. Alright guys, anyway, that's it for me. Uh, next time, we're going to do more side quest stuff and then probably move on to the next dungeon. So until then, I've been known as back 33 Thanks for watching The Legend of Zelda Minish Cap.